mere mention of his name can calm the storm, heal the broken, raise the dead. At the name of Jesus, I've seen sin-hardened men melt away. Derelicts transform, the lights of hope put back into the eyes of a hopeless child. At the name of Jesus, hatred and bitterness turn to love and forgiveness. Arguments cease. I've heard a mother softly breathe his name at the bedside of a child, delirious from fever. And I've watched that little body grow quiet and the fevered brow cool. I've sat beside a dying saint, his body wrapped with pain who in those final fleeting seconds summoned his last ounce of ebbing strength to whisper earth's sweetest name, Jesus, Jesus. Emperors have tried to destroy him. Philosophies have tried to stamp it out. Tyrants have tried to wash it from the face of the earth with the very blood of those who claimed it. Yet still, it stands. And there shall be that final day when every voice that has ever uttered a sound Every voice of Adam's race shall raise in one great mighty chorus to proclaim the name of Jesus. For in that day, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Ah, so you see, it was not mere chance that caused the angel one night long ago to say to a virgin baby, his name shall be called Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, there's something about that name. Hymn number 27 in your songbook. Hymn number 27. Won't you 